Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Today we are on Kaiser Redux. And today is a special, a little bit of a, a Christmas special, you may even say. Oh, 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 and today we'll be doing the uh, Christmas path that exists in the game settings. Just gotta like scroll down through 2,000 nations real quick. And then here we are. Wait, I just skipped over it, did I? No. Wait, I closed it. Okay. Yeah, status of Christmas in 1935, a year out of Christmas. What I gotta do is I just gotta wait for an event. Should be coming any day now. There it is. Urgent. Santa's workshop. Here we are. Now, uh, I have tested two paths um, in my meantime. I tested the Grinch, then the Snow Miser path I played. Honestly, I'm gonna go. I, I, I like the Age of Coal. I think I'm gonna just go with, I'm go with it. So, uh, yeah. Toy Santa it is. Okay, how is this gonna affect my focus tree? Let's find out. It still says I just annexed the United States of America. I swear to God, if I just annex this little bit, I'm gonna be very upset. I want the whole fucking continent, all right? It, it, it is just gonna be this, isn't it? Man, yeah, fuck. Santa is dead, thanks to you, you monster. What the fuck, I own Italy? What? Why do I just own Italy now? In 91 other division. Oh, what the fuck, I own South, wait, yeah, I own South. In Mexico? When did I just get all these? What the fuck? Got the uh, elf corpse. Um, I give him. This is close enough to a reindeer, so we'll give him that. Actually, I, I just had an amazing idea how, uh, how I can actually do this without worrying. I just take it really slow. What I could do is I justify war goals because I have cores, so I can get the war goals really quick on America. Then I take the navies from each of them, which they're not insane, but added together. Well, California is pretty big, but still add that all together. That more than doubles the size of my current navy. Then after that, I go after Canada through a land invasion, take that in the navy. Then I, with that navy, I invade Britain, I invade France, I invade African France, I invade Germany separately in separate wars. Then, and then at that point, I have free reign, and then I can finish the world conquest easily. Because I'm thinking like, oh, I'm gonna build up, get ready, then we're gonna click declare war, be at war. But what's the point? I just take it slow. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go to war with individual uh, states. All right, we got the war goal for North Carolina here, and just be them. Then front line should be pretty easy. They are, you know, fighting a very massive war right now. It all just depends on how, like, the peace deal works, really. Evil Elmo falls ill. Alex Wilson! Pingu! They all die! Now, I do also have another quick little plan, and I'm thinking... Maybe just kill Austria real quick. Because they're in a massive war. I'm thinking I could probably push through Venice and Lombardy. Then kill Austria, get their navies as well, because Austria is a decent-sized one as well. Oh, we took Rome already, that was fast. All right, two Sicilies are down. We have not made any progress up here, but uh, I'm working on it. We've landed in Venice. All right, we took the province next to Venice, though, so that's good. Let's see if we can keep this going. Fucking Venice capitulated, holy shit. Actually, insanely amazing. Question is, can we cut them off? Of course not, okay. China is basically the, uh, the L of workshops, you know? The, the children are making all the toys. They just got infantry expert on this guy, animal force attack. I might be able to make a breakthrough in this mountain here. And if I can... Now, now, you gotta remember, if. Biggest keyword is if. Which it looks like it's not gonna happen, because of intent. instead of going here, it went here. So, the force attack might be useless, unless they can break through this before it runs out. It might be a possibility. This might still be possible. The okay, force attack ran out, but I think we're gonna win anyways. Start attacking there. Holy shit, come on. They're getting, like, attacked through there somehow. I don't... Is that, that's, like, slowing them down. That's really fucking annoying. No, they're just, like, stuck in, 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 like, a perpetual fucking hell or some shit. Yeah, I guess I'll just walk one division in. Like, they're just stuck here. They can't fucking leave. Hang on, I think I just got saved by, uh, Croatia or whatever. Or a lira. Isn't that Albanian? I thought, I, for some reason, I always thought this was Albanian. I'm, I'm gonna stop talking before I get a bomb in the mailbox. 
Jesus fucking Christ, I got jump scared. <laughs> oh God, I'm so fucking close, dude. Just let me encircle you. Oh God, I finally connected Venice with the rest of Italy. That took fucking forever. Here's a really big encirclement, which is fantastic. Oh my God. Everyone but Austria surrendered. Okay, I will take it either way. We're gonna try another assault on America. Uh, I thought America would be a bit easier, but clearly they're, they're they're fucking they're feeding their troops something else because it's been it's been hard. I've moved like what? I moved down South Carolina and I'm just reaching into Georgia here. Or no, this is North Carolina. This is South Carolina. Georgia's here. What the fuck am I talking about? All right, I'm also going to real quick send the Asian armies down to Mexico to just like thrust into the United States through the south because it's probably unguarded and if it's not it's probably weak we got a fucking uh, breakthrough in the north here this is huge all right have you guys just walk around like far And y'all are gonna go more in. Fuck. We're down to Graz, and then you three will kind of like loop around. Yeah, just yeah, just push into the front line. Sure, why not? All right. Hopefully, hopefully this works. Come on. I believe in y'all. You can do it. Win the war for me. Win the endless fucking war against Austria for me, please. Why does the German Empire own Bulgaria? Come on, we are so fucking close, please. Please, please, please stop them from getting in, stop them from getting in. Oh my god, we did it. We fucking got Vienna, please. Why aren't you capitulated yet? I gotta get fucking grass over here. Grass, grass, I don't fucking care. I just want the Austrians dead. Sorry to anyone who is Austrian and watching this, but... Hopefully you can understand my pain currently. We got grass. Now what? Klagenfurt? Really? Finally! Alright, let's see. Please just let me steamroll them. I don't feel like going through another Austria, but with a, a bigger Austria. A bigger German place. It's looking good. We're like semi-steamrolling them. It's not a complete stomp. They're stopping us every now and then. But overall... We're, we're pretty much killing them completely. Okay, there goes Poland. Get Leipzig here. Just need to get to Berlin. That's all we need. Well, it's probably not all we need. We probably need like Frankfurt, a couple, a couple of these major cities here. But when we get when we get Berlin, it's basically over. It's basically over. It doesn't matter at that point. We are so fucking close. Just get me to Berlin. Why must you be this way, Germany? Let me in. Stop defending your country. Why would you do that? Please, please, please. Let's fucking go. Santa took Berlin. <laughs> Alright, it's time to bring the French some fucking joy in their life. The French always fucking depressed, drinking their coffee and eating their fucking baguettes, alright? It's time we bring them some Christmas cheer, and maybe for once we can see a French person smile. All right, so let's see here. Declare war. Although, I did kind of just remember, I am like the evil Santa, the coal mine, you know? So actually, I'm probably not going to change much for the French. It's probably going to be just the daily life after I take over. I don't even know how to explain to you what just happened. Um... So just look at it, and and that's all the information you're getting. This this happened. What the fuck happened? The the Netherlands they just grew out of nowhere. They didn't exist. It wasn't a naval invasion either. There was not a fucking naval invasion. They can't. It's not even like it's partially contested, like, oh, they, they, they squeezed through, and, uh, you know, no! How the fuck did you come back to life?! Can I just get base game France that capitulates when I take Paris? This is really annoying. 
Yes, I know my divisions are fucking trash, so I should probably upgrade them. That probably would improve my chances of, you know, winning. Well, you know, I'm... Nothing's in, I'm just gonna fucking cut back when I'm done with this fucking shit. I'm not gonna commentate. I'm just gonna focus on this because this shit's just getting out of hand. I'll be back about two months later now. It's done. Oh my god. I'm going to fucking shoot myself. But hopefully Britain isn't as painful as whatever the fuck was going on in Europe. Oh my god. Uncontested. Bless your soul, Britain. Oh no, there goes the British Navy. How sad. Wait, do I still have a naval supremacy? Yes, I do. I'm gonna send this one and a uh, naval invasion to the south and see if I can just, like, catch them off guard and finish it quicker, because I have a feeling I'm about to get bogged down soon in, like, the north, near York or whatever. Oh my god. We got London. Holy shit. It's over. It's fucking over. Oh my god. Oh my god, I never thought I'd see this day come. You guys immediately go towards the Syndicalists, please and thank you. And after them, New England, then Canada, which will consist of all of the Entente. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so, basically, what I'm gonna do, just like a little game plan for you. I'm just gonna like, do a little, little quick invasions, you know, just clean up the map a bit. And I'll, like, uh, cut back with you when something happens, like, go to war with the Entente or Russia or something, I'm not exactly sure yet. Toy forces have been pushing towards the combined syndicates of America's temporary capital of Chicago for a while now. <laughs> I made a mistake. It's not a huge mistake, but I made a mistake. I declared war in New England, thinking that shit was all good. We we're gonna unite North America. I mean, uh, fucking just the United States. I did not know they were in the Entente. Uh, Africa's looking fine. Very, very little resistance uh, going on down here. Um, but one, one cool little uh, fact uh, we got here um, is that right after I finish this war at the Entente and I take their territory in Africa, I'm already at war with what's left of the Reich's Pact. Um, I never declared war on them, that's just the leftover from, I think, fighting Germany. But they own all the rest of Africa. Plus, all of my Chinese territory they naval invaded a long time ago. Um, and the Middle East. So, all the only nation I actually have to finish up, up, like, finish up with in Africa is Ethiopia and Liberia. So, that makes things easy. So, we're gonna have the whole continent of Africa before I even do this focus. So, all we're really gonna have to worry about is South America and Asia. For the most part, because the only bits of Europe left is, well, of course, parts of Russia and then the Balkans. New England has fallen. Sweet, so we must continue our push. Take the Canadian cities. Come on, let's go. Pingu, you know, the great, the great uh, general who liberated all of America. Pingu will continue his journey. Alright, uh, France is practically capitulated. Um... Anything with Canada, what else? What's their capital now? I really hope they don't get a capital in uh, Alaska, that's gonna be really annoying. Halifax. Right, if we take... Eh, maybe Halifax and then like one more, I think, should do it, and then we win this war. Okay, there we are, we didn't need to take... Oh no, this is just France. Them. France just ditched Canada. They just, they just left, alright. I'll take it. Alright, so we got North America for the most part, besides the Caribbean and Yucatan. One thing that did annoy me a bit is that all these nations, like Rhodesia and shit, they left the faction right as the war ended, so I didn't get all, basically all of Africa in one war. So I still gotta go after a couple, like, individual people, which is annoying. Okay, so, um, my game crashed. Um, and... When I click continue, it said 1941, so I'm terrified. This is where I started. Hang, hang on, hang on. Alright, um... So I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna be transparent. Transparent as fuck. You may hate me for it, I don't really care. I'm going to cheat. I, I, will, be, I will be annexing everyone I did kill. Right, well, I'm just letting this war run over here and uh, 
Middle Africa. I'm just gonna take a quick detour into Yemen. Sure. Next, I will be going after Muskrat here. Next up, Liberia. That was that was decently fast, I would say. All right, you know what? Just so this video doesn't end up being too long, I'm just going to straight up cut to when I'm going to do this focus. I'm, I'm like, unless something really interesting happens, the next time, the next clip you're about to see will be me clicking this focus. Hello, welcome back. There's been some changes. So, you know, the usual, you got North America, but I cleaned up the Caribbean, um, and you know, all that. You have some footholds in, you know, South America and everything. So all of Africa under our control. All the islands of the world, for the most part, besides like three, I think. Then, come over here. I cleaned up Japan, Siam, and the Philippines, because they were in a faction. I got their navy, took them out, um... And then I've trained a couple more divisions. Uh, as you can see, we have 780 now, and I just put them in these big blocks. You know, it's like 300 in China alone. Just, I'm gonna go through the easy parts first, and then we can suffer later. Um, South America, hope everything's good. Uh, I got uh, an air force. I did divvy them out. Each uh, army has 500 fighters, 500 cast. The only issue is I don't have airports for them, but I'm building them, so they should get there soon. <laughs> So, like I promised, next time you saw me, we're doing this. Mangle it in tangled up knots. Finally. I want the dot. There it is. Wait, what the fuck? What? What? Okay. I just... <laughs> I'll take it. That saves me so much fucking time. 600 division. The first to go, Albania has capitulated. Yo, Albania, I thought you were better than that. I thought you could hold longer than that. I'm kind of disappointed, honestly. Um, Lebanon's trying to like come in, come in with the the clutch of a lifetime, trying to save the entire Earth. I do just want to show the uh, naval map mode. For some reason, the only place we don't have it is in the Caribbean Sea, but other than that, bright green everywhere. Ah, uh, the first piece deal. Romania. Give me your navy, even though I'm not going to use it. Thank you. The second domino falls. Ah, there we go. The end of the Balkans. Now it's just Asia and South America. They're the last strongholds. I love how the only one of the navy is Albania. I just I just realized this fucking general's Walter White. Hang on. Hang on, where is he? It's it's Walter White. It's our boy Heisenberg. He's in the fucking game. I did not know that. This might be it for Venezuela. Yep. That's it. Alright, South America is done. Uh, Africa's done, Europe's done. It's just Asia now, I believe. Other than Malta. We do have Malta, but I'm I'm working on it. They're, they're a little bit of a fortress, if you can't tell. Um, but I'm getting there. Oh my god, it's finally done. Okay. Indo-Chinese commune. Well, we can't celebrate yet. We have our hardest fight ahead of us. The penguins. Play the intense music. It's over. It's over. A hundred percent. Wait, I gotta wait for the peace deal for him though. Hang on. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's over. It's over. Is it exit game or exit menu? I think it's exit game, right? No. Fuck, how do I- is it exit menu? Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. We have the last ones left. Santa's coal mine is victorious. I hope you enjoyed uh, Santa's coal mine. Um, this mod is dedicated to the best president of the United States, Herbert Clark Hoover. Yeah, um, but uh, you know, 
<laughs> I hope you enjoyed um, my pain and suffering playing Santa's coal mine. Uh, and I hope you as well have a wonderful Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a wonderful day and a great week as well. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day or night. See you next time. <laughs> no witnesses?